Thanks for tuning in. Hi, I am Beth Keener with HXGN TV. It is important to add mobile capability to empower your operations workforce and to do so strategically to digitally transform work processes to fully optimize efficiency. Today we'll discuss how mobility plays into a connected worker strategy. And we have Patrick Harrigan, who got dressed up for us. He is the Director of Global Business Development for Hexagon PPM. Patrick, first of all, I love the outfit. Thank you. It's a little hot in the Vegas heat. What are we, 106 <laughs> outside today? So it's yes, a little tough. Yes, yes. But we're getting through it. But hey man, it's all about looking good. It is. <laughs> Committed to the cause, right? <laughs> well, why don't you tell us what a connected worker strategy is? Sure. So the idea of a connected worker is giving the right data to the right people at the right time in the right context. Right. Ultimately, they can do their jobs more efficiently, right? To increase productivity, safety, compliance, all those things are, are very much tied to it. Um, we find that utilizing modern technology is one of the best ways to do that. Mm -hmm. um, in particular, things like mobility or things like our, our new partner in Realware um, in this Realware headset, which is actually a wearable tablet um, oh, wow. on my head right now. So yeah, it, it allows us to, to take our mo uh, existing mobile processes and, and voice, um, make them voice activated so mm -hmm. we can still use our hands to work and see all of our information and data right here. So now I know why you had it above your eye. You got it, so you I can see it right here. You are actually looking at information from your tablet. You bet, yep. Wow. And so you can navigate these workflows just by reading what's on the screen. Yes. So if I wanna see work instructions or uh, engineering documentation, work order data, um, I can see all of that in, in our, our workflows built on the Exalt platform right here in, in my eyepiece. Fascinating. All right, so tell us why strategy is an important word here. Yeah, so when we look at, uh, when our customers look at implementing a connected worker solution, mm. um, we refer to it quite often as a strategy uh, because it's not something that's one and done. Uh, it's something that will continue to evolve over time, especially as technology continues to evolve over yes. time. So for example, if you were to implement a connected worker strategy two years ago, these guys weren't even around two years ago. So. Technology is continue to, continuing to improve, mm. sensor data, um, uh, advanced analytics and AI, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, all of these technologies that are uh, being piloted, being tested, but not necessarily uh, deployed at full scale within our customer base, they're all gonna become part of this connected worker strategy moving forward. So you gotta be flexible, right? So Absolutely. as we move up and, and move forward, um, you, you can't just stay static and say, hey, we did a great job. You've got to continue to build that strategy year after year. And what would you say the top error you see customers making, uh, what do you see that error being made when they're trying to go mobile? Sure. So mobility's not new, right? It's right. been around uh, for many years, and um, you know the iPhone really revolutionized mm -hmm. uh, mobility and it was that 2007, 2008 timeframe. And what most folks are, are, are trying to do who fail to get the value out of mobility within their organizations, um, they tend to take existing business processes and try to just build a mobile interface to those business processes. Oh, right. We need to take advantage of this transition mm -hmm. to relook at our processes and try to figure out how can we reimagine them with modern technology in mind. So a, a common term in the industry is mobile first. So very mobile focused. You use a phone, I'm sure, every day. You know, in three taps, you get all the information you need. Yes. When you try to take an enterprise um, a process or application and, and convert it to that type of setting, you got to keep that in mind. Because it's all about user acceptance. If you don't get the end users to use it in the field, um, ultimately, everyone doesn't see the value and, and, and you don't get the return on your investment. Right. That's, that's probably the most common error okay. we see. Yeah. Okay. Um, often initiatives uh, like this that we're talking about can be daunting and time consuming. So what's the time frame, or frame a customer should expect when they're making that transition and deciding to implement what sure. they actually have and, and want to become connected workers? Yeah. So with the consistency of a, a strategy conversation, it depends. Okay. Um, what we find from an implementation perspective uh, is 60 days or less, so fairly rapid, oh, quick time to value. Yeah, that's yeah. shorter and, than I would expect. And honestly, most of that time's even spent working with our customers' IT organizations, 
getting correct access and, and security credentials to get to the data we need to drive these type of right. processes. Once we get past that, um, you can really build these new workflows very quickly, weeks if not days, get them out in the field, test them, make changes, and drive process improvement from there. So what is the first step then in implementing a connected worker strategy? It's, uh, it's really about defining where you want to start. Because when, when you talk to, talk to our customers about there's a million different things we could do, right. but what's the best thing to do, right? <laughs> Which is case by case. You, you got it. And, and what's important to this customer, it might not be as big of an issue, or they might have found another solution in the past to solve that issue at, at customer B. Um, so it's very case by case, and, and what we find is when we present um, and, and engage on partnerships, uh, we usually get a list of use cases and, and what we want to start with. We want to stack rank those. Mm. What's the most value that we're going to deliver to the organization without the maximum effort, right? We don't want to boil the ocean, but at the same time, we don't want a science project. We want something that will actually deliver tangible value. So defining that um, and, and working with us in, in a partnership capacity, I think is a great first step. Mm. Um, the technology, quite honestly, fairly, that's sort of the easy part. Oh, really? It's getting, it's getting the the adoption and the excitement within the organization to say, you know what, utilizing this new technology, we can really change the way we do business. And once you get past that, it's sort of downhill from there. It's rock and roll. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Patrick, thank you so much for being with us today. Very uh, informative and also, I, I can't even get over enough that you just stayed dressed up for us. <laughs> just for you. And you came to show us uh, truly uh, what a good look is in Vegas. What a connected worker looks a like in Vegas. connected worker. I'll tell you, one more thing. I get yes. uh, some weird looks walking through the casino. I think they think I'm cheating with my uh, camera and my headset here. Well, so. now we know you possibly could be. <laughs> I could, I actually you could, could be. You could be reading a tablet. You got it, you got it. All right, it. for more information about the Connected Worker Strategy, please go to hexagonppm.com. And of course, to learn more and watch additional episodes, head over to hxgnspotlight.com. Thank you again for joining us here on HXGN TV.